right, so today I'm going to be going out with a few creatives and we're going to do some street photography. So hopefully I can get some tips and tricks for you guys. So watch out. See you out there. I just arrived at Waterfront and I'm just waiting for the other guys to arrive so I think I'll just get started. One of the first things I like to do when I arrive at a spot is just to observe my surroundings uh, even before I even take any photos or video and the reason I do this is because I just want to like immerse myself and be present in the moment and be inspired by my surroundings and see what I can get so let's try it. guys that I was saying I was gonna meet up with and I'm gonna get you guys introduced to yourselves okay all right with uh, oh, my name is Steven and my IG handle is little Steffi 0925 okay. what's good guys my name is Adrian and my Instagram is visuals trans <laughs> hey everyone my name is uh, Matt I'm IC world hey I'm Kevin uh, my Instagram handle is cagely photography Hey, what's up guys? I'm Louis uh, from the Instagram account Sunset Photo. Hey guys, I'm Jeff and my Instagram is JVFFW. Alright. Yeah, what's your name? Oh, Lloyd. Lloyd okay. Carrick, Instagram. Alright, cool. Alright. <laughs> I'd say uh, in your street shots, first of all, it's probably better if you go out in the rain. So don't do what I'm doing right now. It's <laughs> terrible lighting, you know, super harsh and dry. But also in your shots, try and get like one focus subject, like get some clear focus on subject, whether that's like framing, leading lines, something like that. That'll make your shot like just pop. Um, I usually look for patterns and look for some contrast of light so the picture looks more dramatic. Nice. Yo, thanks man. <laughs> hey, so what's your tip man? So I have one tip and that is for some street photography it's best to do it at night and when it rains so that the ground can be reflective and it'll add towards the, the lighting and the overall um, composition of the picture. Okay, one of my tips for shooting sunset photos is like shoot it as f16, get the sun stars. Yes, I think it would look nice the photos. And usually for this kind of high contrast scene, I will bracket my shots. And for Sony, I usually do it with three shots bracket. And back in three, I will do maybe five shots bracket. Yep. Sweet. Thanks, man. No. It's getting quite dark now. I guess my final tip for today in regards to street photography is basically just find a bunch of creatives that are down to kind of go out with you and get some bangers, you know? Photography is definitely a collaborative thing and I think collaborating with people is just always a good time and you can bounce off ideas on with each other and inspire each other and create some, some bangers. Anyways, yeah, it's getting dark and I do want to do a nighttime photography street video in the future, so watch out for that. Anyways, peace out. Bye.